Hi Leo, this is your August monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and it is such an honor to be a part of your unique experience today. So I'm gonna shuffle you guys a crowner. Let's see what's in store for you guys this month. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The general energy for August for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. crazy we're more than halfway through 2020 that still just like blows my mind okay so you have unity here for your general energy so it seems as if you're coming back to your center you may feel like you're unifying with yourself um, spiritually maybe some of you recently awakened and you're finally finding your true path in life um, some of you are unifying with paths maybe with lovers some of you could be dealing with a water sign maybe a Pisces but I do sense there could be some unification between you and a partner this month or you and someone who you care about very very much Okay, see so a page of wands. So there's definitely a new beginning here. And it's something that I think, Leo, you never truly gave up hope with. It was like there was always a part of you that kind of held on to maybe this idea, this project, this person. It can be anything. This is general. But I do sense a new beginning with something, and I feel like you were almost kind of like losing hope about this, um, but you still kind of kept on, you kept pushing through, and now you're reaping the, you're reaping the rewards. So I see you finally surrendering this month. You know, you're just kind of allowing things to play out. Because I'm sensing maybe at one point you really needed to control this situation. But now you're just allowing things to... You're just allowing the cards to fall where they may. You know, you've done your part in this situation, Leo. You've put in the work. You've put in the time. You've put in the effort. Now it's just time to let everything else play out. But let's look into the heart of your reading going on in Leo's heart space. Knight of Earth, okay. So like I said, there's definitely a new beginning for some of you. It could be in work. You could be receiving the offer of a lifetime, something very, very big. Um, like I said, I think some of you were losing hope on this, but there was a tiny, tiny smidge of hope that was left that you were holding on to. And I think because of that, you know, it's finally coming through. Your hope was not for nothing, essentially. Um, but this Knight of Earth indicates some kind of offer that comes in. Like I said, it took its time, Leo, but here it is. It's coming towards you this month. It's almost like, you know, a lot of you are getting blessed for your birthdays this month. You're getting blessed with things that maybe you were wishing for, um, things that you were wanting to come through. So for some of you, this could be an offer of love, maybe from somebody you never let go of. You know, this person was always on your mind and they come through. They decide they want a new beginning with you. Some of you could have new love this month. If that's something you're seeking. Some of you could be finding new love this month. Um, but like I said, I do sense a unification between you and another person. You and a loved one. Someone who you were holding on very tightly to. I don't think you ever truly let this person go. Or this situation go this opportunity because for some of you this was an opportunity in work maybe it was a business venture maybe it was a side hustle an art project it could be a million different things guys so just take it how it resonates but yeah you are the manifester this month you are the master manifester you're bringing about whatever it is that you're seeking in your life these opportunities, these relationships, these financial situations. I think for some of you, um, you were really holding on to some money here. Maybe some of you were saving up for a business or for some kind of investment. 
I'm seeing somebody sitting tight on some kind of like inheritance or some kind of big big payout almost like a raise I have a hair on my mouth one second I'm trying to get it off it's like stuck in my lipstick this is why I always just wear chapstick because it's always such a pain especially when you have a cat okay I think it's gone um, but as I was saying <laughs> so I do sense that you were holding on to something there was like an idea here or you were sitting on some finances maybe planning to invest them um, for some of you you wanted to take a big trip maybe some of you are waiting for everything with covid to kind of settle down before you decide to start traveling but i do see somebody who has some money saved up here and they're kind of sitting on it just waiting to do something with it um, I'm also sensing that there could be some kind of money that maybe somebody was fighting for. Yeah, I feel like some of you were fighting for some kind of money here and I do see you getting it in the month of August. I see it happening towards the end of the month. So if some of you were like, um, I'm, I'm seeing like maybe child support or something like that, some kind of finances that you've been fighting for. Maybe there's a family member who you've been fighting for finances. I see you getting it this month. But I do see a lot of forward movement, Leo. I think some of you felt very stuck for possibly the past like four, five, maybe six months. You've been feeling very, very stuck in a situation. Maybe you feel like you haven't been moving forward. Um, things have been moving forward. It's just been a lot slower than usual is what I'm picking up with this Night of Earth. Um, it's been taking its time. But now, as we move into August, into September, things are really going to start picking up for you. I think things are going to start moving faster for you. It's not going to feel so sluggish to say. Because um, I do pick up that something was very, very sluggish with this Night of Earth and this Four of Pentacles. And it's almost like you were just... You know, you were ready to get a move on. I think you were a little bit anxious, kind of um, antsy, essentially. But I do see someone fighting for something here. It's like someone is going to fight for you, Leo. Somebody might be fighting for you, fighting for a new beginning with you. Maybe they're going to say, let's take things slow. I want to move forward with you, but we don't have to go about it super fast. We have all the time in the world, you know. Um, but I do see that someone here is going to be fighting for you or you're going to be fighting for something that you believe in this month i see you really taking power you're taking power this month yeah some of you got your hands full this month i think that's why things are feeling like they're picking up because it's like you're really busy you're going to have a lot of things going on this month, particularly in the workplace. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody fighting for some kind of maybe a raise. Maybe you're telling your boss, you're like, look, I do a lot around here. I think I deserve a little more payment than what you're giving me because I think that my skills are quite competitive. I think that's what you're, you know, that's either what you're thinking or that's what you're telling somebody this month. You are feeling like your skills or whatever it is that you have to offer is very competitive in this workplace situation or whatever. Even though you may be quite new to something or maybe you're super young, maybe you're the youngest person in your workplace, you know, and maybe you're doing the most. You're like, look, I've only been working here for like two years and some of you have been here for like five, ten years and I'm still doing more than you, right? That's kind of the energy that I'm picking up. It's like some of you work very hard and you feel like you work too hard compared to maybe your other coworkers or just other people in your life and you feel like you should be compensated for it. So I see you fighting for that. You're standing up for that because for some of you, I, I feel like you kept this in. Do you know what I mean? You kind of, you didn't express this because maybe you were afraid Maybe you were even content for a little bit. You were like, you know what, it's fine, it's no big deal. Uh, but now it's been starting to kind of eat at you a little bit. It's been starting to kind of pick at you. 
something that you were kind of just letting go, you were, you know, just allowing to be, it it's starting to kind of pick at you again. So I see you clearing that energy this month. But I do see a deep connection to your spiritual self this month, Leo. So a strong emphasis on meditation. That's a big thing. I feel like some of you are very grounded this month because you're very busy. You know, you're focused on material things. You may be focused on money, work, relationships, all of that stuff. The things that tie us to this physical realm. Um, and spirit is calling for you to balance yourself out a little bit. You know, be mindful of the alternative, not alternative, that's not the word I'm looking for. Be mindful of the alternate realms, the higher realms, and how much they can help you in your physical existence. Because people tend to have this idea that the spiritual and the physical are separate, but they are actually one and the same. Um, they are just different expressions of the other, so they're connected in so many ways. You're existing as a physical being, but at the same time you're existing as a physical, a spiritual being. <laughs> um, so it's it's important to in integrate those two aspects of self in order to maintain balance. But let me pull a yoga card for you guys. Ooh, these cards are very slippery. What yoga pose should Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus be doing in the month of August? Legs up the wall. This is such a great pose. It sends all of that blood, fo uh, blood flow down to the spine. It's great for those of you who have lower back pain or who have sciatica, like myself. I struggle with sciatica. Um, so. You may want to try this if this is something you struggle with. I'm also seeing something surrounding somebody's circulation, also because of this Two of Pentacles. Somebody may want to increase their blood circulation or stimulate their blood circulation. Because I'm picking up a lot of fire energy, so that's movement. Some of you really need to uh, stop being so sedentary. That's the big energy that I'm picking up with this Four of Pentacles and this Four of Swords. Even if it's just getting up, you know, going on a walk. I see somebody who's very into like martial arts or something like that. Some of you may want to invest some money or time into martial arts, fighting, all of that stuff. Because that might be something that really fills you up but also gets you active. I'm seeing a strong emphasis on being active this month, guys. Some of you are dancers. Some of you are like street performers, like that's kind of what I'm picking up. A traveling performer is something that I'm seeing here. I'm just seeing an emphasis on getting active and, and increasing blood circulation, increasing blood flow. Because some of you are very sedentary and it's so easy to become very sedentary with everything going on with COVID. You know, people aren't going out as much, people aren't doing things. So try to find time in your day to integrate that because I think that's super duper important for you guys this month. It's super important for your health. Because I'm seeing that for those of you who are very sedentary, you're fine right now, um, but give it about two years, you may start accumulating health problems um, due to this. So preventative measure is always better than trying to fix something. So that might be something you want to consider. But that is what I'm seeing here, Leo. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box to my website. You can look at my readings there. If you like my content, check out my channel, guys. Subscribe. I have other videos, other readings on my channel. Leave a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you because I would love to know. Take care guys and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye bye.